Where is our electricity going to come from? Well, how is it going to be generated? Who's going to generate it? Basically what happens is your generator creates the, the electricity at a, at a certain voltage. Think of voltage like uh, pressure in your water line. You really raise that pressure so that you can send it uh, the longer distance. Independence Power and Light is uh, a department of the city that serves electricity you know, to uh, all the customers in Independence. The Southwest Power Pool is a 14-state um, cooperative, uh, best way to describe it, and they take all that power that's being generated, they monitor all the demand across the whole 14 states, and then they, they take care of balancing that and adjusting generation. What Southwest Power Pool does is they look across the region, they see what units are available, and they will schedule those that have the lowest cost. So that helps all of us get a lower average cost for our power. IPL is not a for-profit company. We don't have shareholders to pay back. Our, we're paying back our customers, and our goal is to provide customers affordable energy at the lowest cost we can provide. We have people here at IPL 24-7 monitoring the load in our network. Likewise, Southwest Power Pool has a control room that monitors all of those voltages and currents across the entire 14-state region, and then all of those work together to, to make that balance. But the way it works is like a big water tank. Everybody in the pool is dumping into the tank. All the generation that they produce is going in the tank, and then Independence has a spigot that's, that's where we draw our power from. So it may be yeah, if, you, if you actually got down to the electrons, it may be that we're using the power we generate, but in, a, in the real sense, it's all going into the tank and then we draw off only what we need. So one of the big things that comes out is people say, our units aren't running, so we're not getting any energy for ourselves, we're not producing it, you know, that's not a good thing. Well, the advantage of the power pool, it allows us to take advantage of these resources that are out there that are uh, more cost effective than ours to keep our rates lower. We're one of those utilities that sets the standard for everyone else in reliability. The American Public Power Association, APPA, and we were recently awarded their Diamond Reliability Award, which means that compared to utilities across the country, our outages are shorter and less often than uh, comparable utilities. Our engineering staff and our transmission and distribution crews, they're out there doing the job to keep the system uh, in good shape. But also, when there, when there are those problems that pop up, our teams are out there quickly and they, they understand the system, they know their jobs, and they get it back online uh, quickly as they can. I mean, there's some big uh, decisions coming up. We've recently retired some coal plants. Well. You know, customers are saying we want greener energy. Uh, so the council members listen to that and they say, we need to shut down some of these old, you know, pieces of equipment. Renewables are, are getting more and more focus um, and technology's changing all the time. We fully expect that there's going to be breakthroughs in battery technology. There's gonna be breakthroughs in solar generation technology. We have a pretty good mix right now. We, we buy energy from outside the city. We also produce some of our own energy. Um, we're buying, we have wind, we have solar. Um, so there's a pretty good diversified mix. I think our job is to be positioned so that we can take advantage of whichever developments come along.